In Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, you play as Sargon, the youngest member of a diverse group of elite warriors known as the Immortals. Today, we're going to give you tips on how to maximize his powerful abilities and successfully navigate the perils of Mount Koth. The Haven is home to several people who will help you. This includes Kaheva, who will upgrade your amulets and weapons. The Mage, who will sell you upgrades for your health potions and necklace. And Artaban, whose challenges will help you grasp the flow of combat and learn how to combine your Athra Surges and time powers in combat. Visit them often to make sure you stay combat ready, and use the nearby Walk Walk Tree to update your loadout with newly upgraded gear. A well-timed parry throws back projectiles, blocks 100% of incoming damage, can sometimes result in an instant kill, and best of all, builds up valuable Athra. Sargon can parry and avoid taking damage from many attacks or projectiles, with one exception. Unstoppable attacks. They're devastating attacks that can break through your parry and deal significant damage and a loss of Athra. When enemies' eyes light up red, they're about to launch an unstoppable attack against you. Study their patterns and be ready to avoid it by dodging away, over, or under the attack. Some enemies will engage in reckless attacks which will damage Sargon if not parried or avoided. Unlike unstoppable attacks, reckless attacks can be parried, and successfully doing so will trigger a powerful opportunity attack, inflicting lots of damage on the enemy. Enemy eyes will glow yellow as they prepare to launch into these, so be aware. Fighting a boss is the ultimate test of Sargon's combative skill, and successfully defeating one will require patience, observation, and a fair amount of preparation. Before going into a boss battle, be sure to locate the closest Walk Walk Tree to recharge your health, potions, and ammunition. Mark it as a respawn point and manage your amulet loadout to support your boss strategy. Once inside, observe the boss carefully. Fights often require some trial and error to learn attack and movement patterns, while also determining which attacks can be parried and which should be dodged. With a little patience, you'll take them down in no time. Mount Koth is an elaborate and vast open world with many challenges, puzzles, hidden passages, and dangerous inhabitants. Exploration and backtracking will be vital for finding resources, side quests, new characters, and shortcuts, which is why your map will be an essential tool for navigation. New pieces of the map can be purchased from Fariba in the game's separate biomes. Listen for her humming when you've reached an area. This will help you find her. If you're ever feeling a bit lost, you can always ask Fariba for a tip in the Haven, or activate guided mode in the options to show a main objective marker on your map. The Eye of the Wanderer makes it easier to keep track of important places you discover by allowing you to save a screenshot to your map so you can revisit later. During your time on Mount Koth, Collecting resources will be important for upgrades, health boost, and making additional money. These resources include time crystals, Xerxes coins, Soma tree petals, and Azure Damascus ingots. Most of these will be collected naturally while you're exploring the citadel, but there are a few ways to obtain more. First, don't be afraid to test out walls with your dual blades. There might be a hidden room behind it full of rewards. Second, look for metal plates on the floor. There's a unique puzzle here waiting to be solved. Observe the area around it carefully for patterns or hidden meanings. Rewards await those who are persistent enough to figure it out. Lastly, some resources and rewards await you at the end of challenging platforming sections or secondary quests. Be patient, do your best, and remember you can always use some Borg's feathers for an advantage or mark these spaces with memory shards and come back later. Prince of Persia The Lost Crown offers many accessibility and difficulty settings, 
each allowing you to fine-tune the game into a perfectly tailored experience. Combat difficulty can be tweaked, using preset settings or adjusting sliders for precise adjustments. This includes options like enemy health, athra depletion, and parry difficulty. Whether you're a hardened warrior chasing ultimate combat mastery, or an explorer focused on unraveling the mysteries of Mount Koth, these settings can be adjusted at any time while you're playing. Join our Discord community to share your thoughts and tips with other players. It's up to you now. Defeat your foes, find Prince Hassan, and lift that curse. Mount Koth awaits.